Hi guys, my name is Melissa Bologna and I'm the founder of Beauty in the Broth. And today we are very lucky to have my friend and author here, Brandy Chang. Hi guys, my name is Brandy and I'm the author of the Family Style Cookbook. And today we're gonna cook one of Brandy's recipes from her book, a veggie pot pie, and we're gonna incorporate our beef bone broth. Okay, <laughs> so we have our lima beans. Then we're gonna use an array of veggies. We're gonna do green beans, carrots, and corn. We chopped these up earlier for you guys. So for the roux, you're going to use nutritional yeast. We're also going to use some brown rice flour. You'll use arrowroot starch, some almond milk. You'll season with some thyme. Let's not forget la onion. You'll use some garlic. A dash of paprika. And you'll cover it up with a puff pastry. All right guys, we're gonna start cooking. We preheated the oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. And we're going to go ahead and cook down our vegetables. So you're kind of doing this in three parts usually, except for we're cheating and we're using puff pastry instead of making our crust. So we're gonna do two different steps. Um, the first is going to be doing the vegetable filling and then we're gonna make the roux, which is kind of the liquid part that's going to bind everything together. I can't wait, let's <laughs> go. All right, so the lime beans. And then your mixed vegetables. You can use corn, peas, um, carrots. It's so colorful when you just add tons of veggies in there. Okay, and then we're going to season with our thyme, our garlic, and our paprika. Now, do you put the thyme in as is or do you take the sprigs off? I take the sprigs off, exactly. One just fell in there. But <laughs> Once again, you guys, casual. It's a casual cooking show. This is live TV, guys. We have no time <laughs> to make mistakes. <laughs> yeah, we just keep it casual. <laughs> awesome. Um, we just want it to be really small. You can even like buy minced garlic too. I kind of, honestly, in the kitchen, I love any sort of hack or cheat. Like if something comes already minced or cut, yeah. I'm into it. Like. Even even getting peeled garlic already, it saves so oh, much mass time. and time. Yeah, it's crazy. Okay. So now we're also gonna add some olive oil, two tablespoons, to the vegetables. Exactly. And also let's put the paprika in now, just so we don't forget about it later. I'm probably in trouble for this. Bam. Oh, I don't have the copyright, but yeah. <laughs> so now we're going to cook everything on medium heat until the onion is translucent and all of our flavors are nicely incorporated. So we'll put that onto the stove and we'll make our roux next. All right. So you just want to go ahead and make sure that nothing's burning in there, especially the onions. And because these are really delicate vegetables, you just want to keep it on low and stir every once in a while. And I like to keep the lid on there and we will make the roux while that's cooking. Now we're going to make the roux, which is essentially the glue to the vegetables. We're going to start with Beauty in the Broth beef bone broth. Now we're going to put in some nutritional yeast, which is, believe it or not, a great substitution for cheese. Some almond milk. Then we're going to put some arrowroot powder. And then we're gonna include some brown rice powder. It's actually really nice with the broth. The broth actually gives it a really nice thickness uh, to the roux that's being made and the powder kinda helps with that as well. So now we're just gonna let this bubble and then we're gonna combine it. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and assemble our little puff pastry dishes. Um, so Melissa's gonna be in charge of doing the veggies. I'm gonna do the roux over here. Do you trust me with that? I think I should. I should. And for, for any sort of pot pie recipe, you're going to need some ramekins. You could get them at Marshall's, Williams Sonoma, Amazon. Yeah. But we have these little guys because why not? I think these are so cute because then you can kind of give everybody their own individual serving and it makes for a fun dinner party trick, right? You can also use a skillet too for a pot pie. It's really nice. So, all right, let's get to it. And if you don't have a partner, you're going to have to do all this on your own. <laughs> it's hard work. It is. All right, great. So you can fill it up a little bit more. I'm gonna, so when you're making your roux, if it gets um, too thin, you can go ahead and add more of the arrowroot starch. If it's too thick, a little bit more bone broth. 
That's a really good tool to have in the kitchen, I have to say. Like, I've actually needed to use a paintbrush while cooking multiple times, surprisingly. I'm a real Monet. And so you'll, you'll paint it on the outside too, so it gets nice and golden brown. So now we're gonna put these in the oven for 15 minutes until they're golden brown. And that concludes our veggie pot pie with the beef bone broth. Yeah, I'm so excited. This looks so beautiful and the puff pastries turned out really nice. With it. it really did. And I'm really excited to just like go ahead and do it. Thank you guys for watching uh, our Beauty and the Broth cooking videos, collaboration with Brandy Chang, the family style book. Bye guys. <laughs>